हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विद रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स पार्ट वन ऑफ एर्थ स्टैंडर्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिप्रोडक्शन असेक्सुअल एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मेल एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इट इज अ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस बाई विच new individual of same species are produce now the question arises why it is important because it helps in continuation of similar kind of individuals for generation to generation and it also helps in increasing the number of species so reproduction is very important now let us see what are the different modes of reproduction there are two different modes of reproduction what are they they are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so let us discuss what is the asexual and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction the new individuals are formed from a single parent they are formed from a single parent whereas in case of sexual reproduction two parents are needed two parents are required to produce new individuals in sexual reproduction there is formation of male and female gametes and male gamete fuses with female gamete which results in the formation of single cell zygote and from this zygote it develops into a new individual here it is the difference between asexual and sexual reproduction as i have already told you that in asexual reproduction single individual is required whereas in sexual reproduction two individuals of opposite sexes are required means one should be male and other should be female in asexual reproduction there is no formation of gametes that is male and female gamete but here in sexual reproduction there is formation of male and female gametes in asexual reproduction there is no fusion no fertilization whereas in case of sexual reproduction there is fusion of male and female gametes and which results in the fertilization which forms the zygote in asexual reproduction no variation is seen but in sexual reproduction lot of variation is seen because two parents of opposite sexes are required now let us discuss about the male reproductive system the main male reproductive organ in human are a pair of testes two a sperm duct and a penis whenever you go in higher classes you will read some other main organs also but up to your level you know that the main reproductive organs of males are a pair of testes two a sperm ducts and a penis the testes are responsible for producing male gametes which is called as a sperms testes produces millions of sperms and a sperm is a single cell whenever you look into the structure of a sperm it consists of head a middle piece and a tail it is the male uh, figure which shows male reproductive organs here it is the front view of male reproductive organs this is about the parts of human sperm you can locate the head middle piece and tail this is also about the human sperms now the next is female reproductive system female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries a pair of oviducts that is called as fallopian tubes and uterus some more or some more organs are which we will study in higher classes but the main reproductive female reproductive organs are a pair of ovaries a pair of fallopian tube and a uterus now let us see what is the function of ovary 
like testes here ovary also produces female gamete but testes used to form sperms that is the male gamete but ovary produces the female gamete and this female gamete is called as egg or ova a single egg is produced by the ovary every month in one month the egg is produced by one ovary and in the next month the egg is produced by other ovary and here also the egg is single cell you can locate here the female reproductive organs in human this is also about the female reproductive organs now this is the figure of human ovum now the next topic is fertilization fertilization means it is the process by which there is fusion of a sperm and ovum that is egg this is called as fertilization and after fertilization a structure is formed that is single cell this is called as zygote and from the fertilized egg that is zygote it develops into new individual by division and redivision since the sperm from the father fuses with the egg from the mother so the new individual after sexual reproduction inherit both the characters of father and mother means both the characters of fathers and mothers are transmitted into the individual which is formed after the sexual reproduction here you can see the fertilization means fusion of female and male gamete and this is the after fertilization zygote and is form which goes on dividing and redividing now let us see what are the different types of fertilization there are two different types of fertilization what are they they are internal fertilization and external fertilization in internal fertilization the fertilization takes place in the body of female for example in humans cows dogs hens etc whereas in case of external fertilization the fertilization takes place outside the female body for example in frogs fishes starfish the fertilization is external means both male and female individual releases their uh, gametes into the surrounding environment particularly in the water and there in the water the fertilization takes place that is outside the female body here you can see that release of gametes in frog and this is second figure is of eggs of frog this is the uh, figure which shows the developmental stages of frog thank you for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section